Hello my students and welcome. Say hello to the Skoda T56, the tank that is known for breaking the matchmaking in World of Tanks PC. But is the Skoda in a blitz is as good as the Skoda in World of Tanks PC? Before we do the comparison, let me show you the armor profile on this tank. So relax and enjoy the show. So the first thing I'm gonna say and you're gonna notice that is the hold down capabilities of this tank is truly impressive. This is how an IS-6 sees the Skoda. Now let's switch the ammunition to gold. As you can see, not a lot of difference. It's still all red. But of course, as every tank there are weak points, except the cupola obviously. If you're lucky enough, you could hit this little weak points between the cheeks and the spaced armor. But as I said, if you're lucky enough. But one thing that truly disappointed me about this tank is the spaced armor. Spaced armor is made to block anything that have E in it. Heat, he, and hush. But I guess World of Tanks Blizz just doesn't believe in spaced armor as you're about to see here. Now my friend is gonna shoot the Shkoda directly in the spaced armor with heat but somehow it would still go through. So don't rely on spaced armor to protect you from heat or anything like that because it won't, it's more of just like decoration purposes. Now let's head to the comparison. The Skoda T56 in World of Tanks Blitz against the Skoda in World of Tanks PC. Now let's get started, shall we? The one on the left is World of Tanks Blitz on the right is BC. So first we're gonna start with the firepower. The Blitz have a lack of DPM. As you can see, the PC one have 2000 damage per minute and the Blitz one only have 1700. Penetration, the Blitz one have a little better penetration. Alpha is less by 10. The one on PC does have 460 and the one on Blitz have only 450. Rate of fire, 3.9. The other one is 4.3. You might think that's better, but it's truly not. And this is why. The one on Blitz only have one shell magazine, the one on PC have two shell magazine. Because the one on Blitz have 15 second reloading time, you can make it to 14.5, so basically it's gonna take you 28 seconds to reload two shells, but the PC one only gonna take it 24 seconds. Yeah, that tank can reload 4 seconds faster than the one in Blitz. And don't forget, auto reloaders are way much better than the single shell. The ability to jump in and put a thousand damage in someone's face in 3.5 seconds and fall back is way way much better than reloading in 14 seconds and then falling back and keep doing it over and over. And as well as you can see, the blitz when have a lag of shell velocity is not really bad, but it's not good either. It's like four and a half out of ten because the shell velocity on blitz is 920 on the one in PC is 1020, which is way, way better. And now let's move to the gun handling and the mobility of the Skoda. Now as usual, left is for blitz, right is for PC. As you can see the aiming time on blitz, it says 3, but if you combine gun dispersion and movement and all of that kind of stuff, basically the tank have 6.0 aiming time. And the one on PC, it says 5.6 if I'm not mistaken. So that's, there is a huge difference between those two as you can see. I mean both do have horrible aiming time, but the one on the blitz have way worse. But why? Like the tank doesn't even have auto reloader as the one on PC. I think it's just because the tank was so broken on PC and they wanted to balance it so when they released it on blitz, they didn't want it to be too OP. So now as you can see the dispersion on blitz is 0.3 but the one on PC is 0.4 which is a little worse than the Skoda in blitz which is a miracle wow somehow the blitz one beat the PC one at something which is dispersion but don't worry it gets a little worse as well on the blitz obviously the PC must always win. On the turret movement on the Blitz one is 0.16 but the one on PC is only 0.12. So when you move your turret just an inch, you lose all of your accuracy. Now let's move to the mobility. The Blitz one have 35 kilometers forward, which is a mistake because when I played the tank, I noticed that it can go all the way up to 37 and not 35. But the downside that the tank have 12 kilometers traverse speed. When I played the tank, 
I've noticed that I get stuck a lot in the front line. I try to fall back so I can reload, but the traverse speed is too damn slow. So be careful about that. Now let's compare the horsepower. The one on Blaze have 633, the one on PC does have 650, which is both is not that great, but the Blitz one obviously is worse. So that means that the tank, if you want to go up a hill or something like that, it will struggle. Now let's move to the power to rate ratio. It's 13.2, the one on PC is nearly the same. But 13.2 is not really that impressive because that means the tank will struggle to hit that 37 kilometers per hour. If you want to run away from a position or get from a point to another point, you will struggle because the tank will take some time to hit its max speed. So, I think we all can agree that the Skoda in World of Tanks PC is far superior than the one in the Blitz. But before we start jumping in, in the gameplay and showing you the good parts and the bad parts about the tank, let me show you how to properly equip it. So I would definitely go with the gun rammer because have we seen previously, the tank have horrible DPM and it needs to be improved. Then I would go with the defense system because the modules of the tank are already very healthy. I never got ammo racked or lost my gun or anything like that. The tank does have pretty tough modules, but I've noticed that your loader and as well your driver get knocked out quite often. That's why defense system is the right way to go. And of course you're gonna go with the enhanced gun line because the aim on this tank really sucks. And why not make the powerful armor even more powerful by equipping enhanced armor. And as well you're gonna equip a better engine because the tank is already slow, a better dispersion, and as well, you're gonna choose to make that adrenaline last a little longer than it does. Now, I think it's time for you to see how powerful this tank is. So before the gameplay starts, I would like to apologize due to some lag. I tried to fix it multiple times, but I could have not. And as well, I would love to share my own replays, but I lost all of my replays due to some issues. But I'm gonna share this replay from the top 10 dealing damage made by Iron Loves RNG. But don't worry because this man is about to kick some ass. As he pushing in the front line as every Skoda T56 player should, he's gonna spot the first enemy and there it is, the Tiger P. And exactly as he bounced, the Iron Loves RNG put a shell in his lower plate. And look at that Tiger P, he's trying to revenge, you can tell that he's quite mad about losing 460 HP in the first 50 seconds but I mean who wouldn't be mad losing 460 damage in the first 50 seconds another 400 damage in the front of the Tiger P and just like that by two shells you did nearly 900 damage this is why this tank is truly impressive at least when it comes to clapping capabilities but now I'm gonna talk about my own personal opinion when it comes to this tank. When it comes to the gun handling, I will give this tank about 1 out of 10. That's legitimately all I'm gonna give this tank when it comes to the gun handling because 6 seconds aiming time, that is the kind of aiming time I would expect on a tank that have 800 alpha damage, like for example the Yuguru E100. Even the Yuguru E100 with all that clapping capabilities, it still only have 5.5 aiming time. Well, because it's a tank destroyer. I bet if that tank had a turret, they will have like 10 second aiming time or something like that. But still, if you want to give the Skoda T56 that horrible gun handling, at least give it like 2000 DPM. 1700 DPM with all that horrible gun handling is truly sad. So I'm gonna give the tank when it comes to the gun only 1 out of 10. So the gun is a little bit bad. Now, right now, Iron Loves RNG is gonna guarantee his second kill on the Yo. I skipped a little bit on that part due to some insane amount of lag, as you see. And right now, you're about to see some insane amount of luck as Iron Loves RNG is gonna put aside a shell. What the hell? My man did he even bother to aim and Max rolls the side of the T28 Defender. And just like that, with one shell, he took 60%. Of the amount of HP of the T28 Defender. 
Right now, Iron is gonna try to fall back so he can kill the ISU and as well the T-34. Maybe after putting another shell on the T-28 Defender, he's gonna fall back and there's the aiming time. Horrible aiming... Never mind, I think... I think Iron loves RNG just crack the code for this tank. Just zoom in and zoom out and fire. And the shell will just hit it directly where you aim it. Who, who needs aiming time when you have RNG on your side? Just like that, zoom in, zoom out and fire. Sadly, Iron gets a little greedy for high explosive, but I hate to break it to you. The Russian ass is a little too thick for your Iron. But now let's talk about my own opinion again on the Skoda T56. The tank is quite slow. The mobility, I'll give it 5.5 out of 10 because the tank only weights 48 tons. There are tanks that weigh way more than this tank and they go nearly the double amount of speed this tank does. So I'll give, when it comes to the mobility, 5.5 out of 10. But there is one thing that I love about this tank the most. And I found it one of my favorite tier 8 tanks in World of Tanks Blades. It's the armor. The armor in this tank gets 9 out of 10 from me. I would give the tank 10 out of 10 when it comes to the armor, but sadly, as I said, the spaced armor is only there for decoration. That's why the tank only gets 9 and not a 10 from me. But the armor on this tank is truly, truly insane. When I was playing this tank, I get averagely from 2000 all the way to 4000 damage blocked. The armor on this tank is truly magnificent, but in general, the tank gets 7 out of 10 from me. If you don't like to be in the front line, you don't like to be a rush kind of tank, because I'm telling you right now, do not expect to do a lot of amount of damage if you're playing in the Skoda T56, then this tank is not for you. But if you're a player that likes side scraping, likes to bounce shells, get in the front line and be all the amount of badass of a player you could be, then the Skoda is the right tank for you so i know the video is a little too long but i wanted to show everything that you need to know about the skoda t56 if you're watching all the way to here i want to say thank you i appreciate you and it means a lot to me and i'm glad you enjoy my videos to watch them all the way to the end and my apologies due to some lag as well this was freak vibing with you and i'll see you in another one